So no one in the world likes to be in debt. It's one of the worst things that you can do for yourself and it can get in the way of your financial goals. You can't really move forward if you have debt behind you. There's only certain times where being in debt is good and it's when you know how to leverage your debt. If you're not leveraging your debt, it usually just means that you're wasting more money on paying off your credit cards or your debts or whatever they are. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Alejandro Romo and in this channel, we talk about investing, personal finance, and all things money. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over two different methods that you can use to pay off your debt. I'm gonna name you guys the two different ways that you can pay off your debt, the benefits of each one and the downsides to each one. And to show it to you guys in action, I'm gonna plug it into a calculator. That way you can see the difference for yourself. The first method that we're gonna go over is the avalanche method. The avalanche method is the best option that you can go with if you wanna tackle your debt from a financial perspective. In this method, what you're doing is you're organizing your debts in order. You're gonna start off with the highest interest rate first to the lowest interest rate last. After you list all your debts in order, what you do is you start off by paying off the highest interest rate one first and then you work your way down to the lowest interest rate. You're gonna pay the minimum payment on all of your uh, debts. You know, stay on time with your monthly payments, pay the minimum on all of them, except the first one. If you can, try to put more money towards the highest interest rate. That way you can pay it off faster. And again, the reason you wanna do this is because you're tackling this from a financial perspective. You want to get rid of the debt that is causing you the most interest, which is making you waste more money. Get rid of those first, work your way down to the lower interest rates. So method number two. Method number two is the snowball method. Ow! For me, currently, I'm not in any debt, but when I was in debt, I decided to use this method. Even before I knew what it was called or before I knew that somebody like Dave Ramsey was using it and calling it the snowball method. Again, the reason I like this is because it uses a psychological perspective to paying off your debt. The way that this method works is you put your debts in order by the smallest balance to the biggest balance. So what you do in this method is you make your minimum payments on all your other debts except the lowest balance one, right? And what you do is you pay your lowest balance, the minimum, plus anything extra that you can possibly have towards the, the lowest first. And then from there, after that balance is paid off, you pay the second one with the money that you were paying for the first one, plus anything extra. That way you can tackle your second debt. The reason I really like this method is because it got me really excited to paying off my debt. So I was tackling the, the smallest balances first, right? And as I was tackling them, I was getting rid of different accounts and different accounts. It got me excited. It got me eager to pay off all my debt. So even though it's going to take me longer to pay off my debt by doing it this method, it just you know, psychologically it was rewarding to me and it just, it helped me get out of debt, which is why I'm not in debt right now. This method is really good for people that have trouble paying off their debt and just see their balances and they feel like they can't go down. So if you tackle the small ones, you'll get rid of the debt and just be like, oh, I had four accounts yesterday, but now I only have three accounts this month or now I paid this off and I only have one account left. You know, it's just, it just psychologically makes it easier for you to pay off your debt. The downside to this method though, is it does take longer. And I'm gonna give you guys an example so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The other downside to this is it costs more money to do it this way, because you might be leaving your accounts with the most interest rate open way longer, therefore resulting in you paying more in interest. A lot of financial gurus will tell you not to use this method, but you know, for me, money has always been psychological. I wanna go the psychological route, whatever makes more sense for my brain, or for me to get into the habit of doing anything, you know, it's a psychological thing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys an example right now of both these methods being used. And that way, what I was saying can make a little bit more sense by using an example. So we're gonna have four different accounts and all these numbers are completely random. Is this, 
I'm gonna leave this calculator in the description for you guys to use. That way you can put in your numbers and you can get a more accurate um, calculation. But this is gonna be completely random numbers. So I'm gonna put a quick chart down here or up here. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it. All right, so I'm gonna set this up right here with the four different accounts. You're gonna see it right here on this calculator. And going over them again, we have American Express with a 2000 balance, $100 payment, 20% interest. Kaiser, 1500 balance, $50 minimum payment, and 15% interest rate. Trace credit card is a $5,000 current balance. $200 minimum payment and a 25% interest rate. And this one is a car, a Honda car with a 15,000 current balance and $300 minimum and a 5% interest rate. So in this method, we have a total of $650 in minimum payment. Right here, you see that this number is at 700, meaning that I'm putting in an additional $50 to use, and we're gonna start off with the avalanche method. And the avalanche method, again, you put it by highest interest rate first. So in this case, it's gonna be the Chase one. And I'm gonna hit go. And it's doing it right there, generating the payments. So you have right here, 5,000, uh, 225%. So the first payment that you're going to make is going to get $250 minimum payment. We're going to scroll down and start right here. So this is August 2020. This is Chase, American Express, Kaiser, Honda. We have, um, we're paying right here $250, like I said, towards the first one with the highest interest rate, which is at 25%. And it keeps going like this, 250, 150, 300, making the minimum payment on the other three accounts, but continuing to pay the $50 extra on the chase. As you scroll down, you come right here to August, 20, August 2022. And by then you would have paid off your American Express credit card just because the balance was smaller even though you put them in order or whatever by the highest interest, because the balance is lower, you're gonna pay it off sooner. So $52, right? And this part got me a little confused because there's extra money here that needs to be used, but for whatever reason, it's not showing it here. If you came down to this month, you would use the extra, it's about $47.67 difference from the $100 and apply that towards your Chase uh, credit card because it's the one with the highest interest rate and that's the one that you wanted to tackle first on the avalanche method. Okay, so the following month you paid off uh, you paid off the, ch the Chase credit card by paying an additional $28.89 to the remainder of this $100 that was used on the American Express is now being used towards the Kaiser medical bill. And again, right here you can see that the Chase credit card just got paid off right here. So you don't have it anymore in October. You don't have American Express anymore in October. And now the additional funds is being applied towards the Kaiser medical bill. And the in November, you you finally finished paying off your medical bill, and now all your additional money is going towards your uh, your condo car. So right here, you can see that the balances keep getting paid off 700, 700, 700, 700 until you get to November 23, uh, 2023, with your final payment being right here, 139 dollars and 12 cents, and. Here you will see the uh, amount of that you paid off. So it was a uh, your selected payoff plan. Twenty seven thousand three hundred and ninety one. You paid three thousand nine hundred dollars in interest using the avalanche method. Took you thirty eight months to pay this off. 
All right, so I just scroll back up and I'm gonna switch this around and I'm going to do this with the snowball method now. So doing the snowball method, again, this one you're at, you're rearranging your debts in order by the lowest balance first. So in this case, we're going to start off with Kaiser, 1,500 that was owed with a minimum payment of $50 and the interest rate is 15%. So again, the interest rate doesn't matter. We want to pay off the smallest balance first because we want that adrenaline rush, that dopamine feeling of paying off our debt sooner. So again, here you, you can see there's an additional $50 that is being used and it's being applied towards the Kaiser medical bill first. All right. And then American Express, Chase and Honda in the order of uh, balances. If you scroll down, the first account that you pay off is going to be the Kaiser one in this, in this case, and it's gonna be in December of 2021. And then the remainder of that 70 bucks, which is a 29.29 is being applied towards the American Express and you keep going you use your your the 100 bucks that you are using now for uh, Kaiser is being applied to your American Express so you're now you're paying two hundred dollars and you keep going until April 2022 when you finally finish paying that off and now this is going to be applied towards your I believe this is the chase one yep this is the chase one and again, you keep paying it, you keep paying it, you keep paying it until November 2022. You're going to finally pay off your Chase credit card. And after that, you go towards paying off the car. And you keep going, you keep going. And right here, you got November 2023 is when you're going to pay off the all your balances. So right here, you can see using this method you're going to pay off a total of twenty seven thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars uh the total interest paid is four thousand sixty three dollars and the total amount of months was oh uh, it's 38 months right here so i'm gonna put screenshots of both um the avalanche results and the snowball results and if you look at it they look almost identical again when you plug in your own information it should result with the avalanche method working faster and saving you more money so as you can see um, again this is gonna be the avalanche side you have three thousand nine hundred dollars that you pay in interest and you pay it off in 38 months so if you were to start today you'll be done November 2023 and if you look at the snowball method you will be paying a total interest of four thousand sixty three dollars and you'll be done in november of 2023 difference right there is about 163 dollars by using the avalanche method so there's two more methods that you can use that you may have or may have not heard of there is the debt snowflake and then the debt tsunami so the debt snowflake is is an additional feature that you add to the avalanche or to the snowball method and in this method the snowflake method is let's say one day you're you need to wear a coat and you grab a coat that you haven't used in a long time and you find twenty dollars in your pocket grab that money and you put it towards the debt balance that you're working with currently that's the snowflake method so it's just like like a salt babe like I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of more extra money boom then you'll tackle your debt even faster the other one is the tsunami and in the tsunami method it's just paying off balances or debts that you owe to people that would affect you personally and like for example if your mom dad or someone lends you money and it, you know it's gonna affect your relationship with that person then you should probably pay that debt off first before you pay off any of your other debts if you can't come to some kind of agreement with that person. Or for another, another example that we can use, let's say you're from the hood and you want to uh, slang drugs so you get fronted some drugs 
and you know that if you don't pay off that drug dealer that fronted you those drugs then it's not gonna end so good you probably want to pay off that debt first because you you can't create wealth without health <laughs> so yeah so I pretty much summed it up for you guys. Sorry my example wasn't that great. But, you know, the most important thing here is just to pay off your debt. Don't be in any debt unless you know how to leverage. And until next time, let's get this money. Peace.